OB. OB. It's All time right. to open OB. The force can have a strong influence on the weak-minded. Thank goodness there's flavor text in the box. Whatever what we do you know, about something, it. something uh, that some people said that was interesting is um, all the characters in this wave are dead during the time that the the campaign takes place, that the uh, oh. Imperial Assault campaigns. This mini is going to look incredible painted. Look at all those folds and his jacket and... That's nice. No, I I really think just something happened since Hoth or something. The that just look admit, a lot better. Whoever they have, yeah, they are looking a lot better consistently, but you're right, this one. But you know, Greedo too. Greedo was a very beautiful looking yeah, I just, mini. Yeah, I just think that the level of detail in the packs and has again, improved. Even the you artwork's know, it doesn't. Better. Yeah, it doesn't match the artwork, but it has all the elements of the artwork, and it's a very, it's a very nice mini. There's a very obvious gap here in the arm, but you know, once it's filled and painted, this will look. Yeah, I think that'll look really nice. Very nice. It it doesn't exactly look like the um, the actor because uh, the actor had a bit of a receding hairline. Oh, um, shut the front door. They what? put a lightsaber in this pack, friends. Surge abilities, one is add two damage. Two surge, you can add one damage and pierce three. Your attack pool with this weapon is your insight pool. So, I, you know what? that I don't, is awesome. I don't know. That's I don't really know cool. if there's just a lightsaber you can just Pick up. buy. Yeah, no, that's... Like, I don't actually need to look at any more cards. Like, that makes it worth it. Well, for the campaign. Yeah, that's... It's certainly... And it's a, only a thousand credits. I mean, there's But some, you, you wouldn't pay just ten dollars for just that. No, I mean, the mini's nice. Yeah. But I mean, that that really does change the game because I think most of the scenarios in the campaign, you have to acquire these cool weapons. Mm -hmm. And that you can just potentially buy in Crate 3, so... Yeah, and it doesn't... It doesn't doesn't feel overpowered because it's your insight pool. So once you get wounded, well, that's the interesting oh, thing yeah. about then getting your dice wounded. Would change. They get wounded, dice change. They don't necessarily get worse because then you get start getting red dye. Well, you so get less surge ability. You get less so. surge, but you get more damage. Damage. So it. it it's an interesting yeah. dynamic. All right. So this is the campaign cost, and this is the skirmish cost. We believe this is the first time that there is a difference in cost of a character depending on which mode of the game you're playing. So the other attributes, oh, and it also has different attributes depending on, <laughs> thank you, make sure I'm hurt. Um, it has different attributes depending on which scenario you are playing. So that's really nice and thoughtful because there has definitely been um, some difficulties in the past of characters being overpriced. Well, that that's the, the thing skirmish is, mode. is I think with what was it with Twin Shadows? You had um, R two D two, so you had the introduction of um, two different versions. But up till now, they they both cost the same, the same. and had the same so abilities. Had, and I think Leia was a pretty good example of she's probably she she's probably actually too cheap. I'm about to get on a soapbox here. Uh -huh. Having a different version for the campaign and the skirmish is great mm -hmm. because they're very different games. Right. Well, and, and I having think, them cost yeah. different, it gives more freedom to just make this card appropriate for this type of for game. For the mode you're playing. And then yeah. make this card appropriate for this. I think they just made them the same price to just, I just, they just did. And so I think, uh, I think they're really beginning to understand that skirmish. And the Is campaign it, are different. Yeah, they're very, and how they're different. Well, and here's the bigger thing. To me, like, the price is great and all, but the fact that they also have different abilities, so it's not just a reprint of a card. Mm -hmm. Like, there are specific abilities when you play Skirmish that will benefit you versus playing the campaign. So, so to all you people, all you people at Fantasy Flight, I just want, golly, your stomach is so loud. Thank you very much, Games Workshop. Thank you. Wait, does Games Workshop make this? No, it's fantasy. It's fantasy flight. It's you, you're shaking me up. It's fantasy flight, right? Thank you. Um, so um, the difference in the card you'll see at the very top. It'll have icons, and it reminds you 
on the map, which is really nice. So it shows you on the map mm -hmm. which icons mean what if you need a little reminder. Um, okay, but in the skirmish, your abilities are um, you automatically block a surge, and then um, your surge abilities are add two damage or pierce three. Then it says alter mine. Hostile figures with a figure cost of six or less within three spaces of you cannot interact and are not counted for the purposes of control. So as long as he's nearby, you don't control that terminal, that objective. Um, well, on then, some maps, it's it's a very big, big deal. Um, when you are defeated, choose another friendly figure. That figure becomes focused. So that's nice. So on the way out, you could strategically sacrifice mm -hmm. yourself to focus well, another character. Well, or it's just it's just something you know you yeah. get when you die. In a way, that's know, like so. better than party shot to me, because like I don't know. I think being focused well, is a party pretty shot, big deal. A party shot, it it forces it forces the person to not kill you at an inopportune moment, or. Whereas this is just like, you're gonna get focused no matter how they kill you, so whatever. Mm -hmm. So in the campaign mode, um, you have the same built-in abilities, but then um, the printed ones underneath say, use the force while another friendly figure within three spaces is performing an attribute test, apply one surge to the results. Which a lot of the scenarios so it auto, are, you it need auto. one surge, so you just auto-complete yeah. Whatever the thing yeah. is. So that's really nice. Yeah. Because there's been a I lot think, of times well, yeah. that we've prolonged. I think more I think that. more in Rin, her thing kinda really helps that happen. So if you don't have more in Rin, he's gonna be I I mean he'd be useful with more in Rin, but I think he'd be very, very helpful. Like the I think as heroes yeah. you'd really want to protect him. Um, well, but and he has 12 health, which is really nice and four speed. So yeah. he's fairly quick, but he's got a lot of health. Um, no. So he has um, mind trick. Once during your activation, you may choose up to two hostile figures within four spaces of you. Push each of those figures one space. Yeah. So when That's I helpful. when I first heard about that card, I I thought that mind trick was on the skirmish version. Mm. Which I was like, that is so powerful. Yeah. To just within four spaces, not line of sight, just four spaces. Just push people. Just move two figures one space. Mm -hmm. I was like, that is such a powerful card. But it was it, in the, it was in the campaign card. Yeah. So then they have channel the force, exhaust this card when you would draw one or more command cards. Draw one fewer than you would have. Then search your command deck for a card with the force user trait. Reveal it, put it in your hand, then shuffle your command deck. Then choose a friendly force user. That figure suffers strain equals to the cost of reveal card. So you can decide to take one one fewer command card, suffer strain in one of your characters. You just but you, you just, get the card. You yeah, want. you just yeah. So that so. Could, that could be nice. Depending on the scenario, you may say, oh well, you know, I really want one of his special cards. Well, yeah, I mean that. I mean that gives you auto auto son of Skywalker. Um, it and to gives be honest you with you, I I could see this being very helpful in the very beginning. Oh, because it's like if you don't have you yeah, don't have a ton no, of strain, very, it's just like oh, well, I'll just get the card very, I want. It allows you to get those very powerful, potentially several, very powerful cards um, of your force users right off the bat. Mm -hmm. I think this makes some all force user lists pretty. Not even all force user because you can literally just have one. And one special card. One, yeah, one you, character you, you can just you, nerf. You are yeah. sure you're gonna get it. Right, that's just really nice. Yeah. Okay, so force user cards. Mm -hmm. We got our Obi Wan Kenobi. Um, at the start of the round, until the end of the round, hostile figures cannot declare attacks targeting you unless they are within three spaces of you. Wah wah. Then, at least it only costs one. Only costs one. So the next, uh, the next couple they provided cost two. Um, at the start of the round, until the start of the next round, hostile figures within three spaces of you cannot interact and are not counted for purposes of control. So, so it's, actually, it's you like know his what? alter mind ability. Yeah, but but, but for an, a, for another force but user, but for any force user. But this could be 
really, really awesome to play in those. Um, you just whip it out. Well, no, in those maps where it's like, oh, if you are, if you have control of the katina, you get seven victory points mm-hmm. or whatever it is. Like if well, you play this card, yeah, and if well, you can play this card, yeah. then they could set things up. Yeah. To have control well, of and something. That's the thing. And you just if play you, that. If you, okay. Use at the end of your activation to move up to one space. Then choose an adjacent hostile figure. That figure suffers two damage and one strain. That's nice. So you could end your turn not being adjacent, play this to move up to one space. Oh, okay. And then that stuff automatically yeah. happens. Yeah. So that's, that's nice. That's solid. That's, that's a solid. So, card. all that being said, we got a lightsaber well, in here. We got it's, some good it's a, force it's user good, cards. Yeah, it, it really helps with the force users. Like, it seemed like in the last wave, you got a lot of spy stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, this, now it seems like you could make a decent rebel force user list, which I'm sure a lot of people like. But even in the campaign, you got a lightsaber now that you can just buy. Right. You would think I, they would have done yeah, this sooner. Yeah, I think, in I a think way. this. Um, kind of really makes that. Uh, I got it in there. You got it. it one way. Where one it way over another. All right, we got and one I last one. You. 